Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm, and we are back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. In this video, we are going to be discussing how to help you find the answers that you're looking for by raising Caternix quail. Um, so we're going to use social media today. We're actually going to use YouTube and Facebook. We're going to find different groups on Facebook to help you with specific questions. I'm also going to, at the end of this video, um, let you know a couple people to reach out to on Facebook that can help you on your journey one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, they were kind enough to allow me to do that. So I'm very excited about it. Now remember, every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live for a live question and answer. It is a community setting, so there's a bunch of people that hang out and show up and help each other. Uh, and then on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live Live again on our YouTube channel for a rapid fire question and answer and it's just questions and answers uh, so I try to be as uh, diligent as I possibly can to help you on your journey but I'm not always available so hopefully this video will also help you find the answers that you're looking for now my phone number and my email address are both on our YouTube or on our website myshirefarm.com uh, so you can always reach out to me it just does take me a little longer uh, to get back with people individually but I will be happy to do that if you have the patience to wait on me um, but hopefully this will help you a lot and uh, like I said we're going to do YouTube and Facebook uh, I am no expert at all I have just learned a couple things from other people and uh, from stumbling around myself so I'm just trying to give that information to you if you are above what I know, then congratulations. Let us know in the comments so other people can benefit from your experience. Uh, but I will let you know the basics of what I know, so be patient with me. I know that I don't sound so great. I am still sick, uh, but I've not done a video this week and I thought that you guys deserved one. So stay with me, stay patient with me, and uh, we'll get back to the way it was uh, as soon as I start feeling better. All right, so first up, let's talk about YouTube, shall we? All right, so we're going to start with YouTube, and there's a couple different ways you can do it. I'm going to go back to the main screen here. Now, obviously, I watch a lot of quail-related YouTube videos, um, but let's just say you want to search, and let's say you want to search by uh, what feed you want to use for your Caternix quail. So if you would just type in feed by My Shire Farm, You'll see the first one that pops up is what to look for when choosing a feed for your Caternix quail, which we did about seven months ago. Um, and I think that that video is, is highly recommended when you want to talk about feed. Uh, so you could just type in anything you want, you know, quail colors by my Shire. And it'll give you a bunch of different videos you can look at, things like that. Now, if you actually just go to the main page, my Shire Farm. You'll click on the little icon, and this is my main page. Now, yours is going to look a little bit differently than mine because uh, I'm actually on the back end, but it looks pretty similar. The There's going to be a, uh, a video that pops up that's recommended, and then most recent uploads... And then popular playlists from new to quail and what you need to know, basics of Caternix quail, uh, all about the colors, quail for profit, pop a builder of things, things like that. Must watch channels, obviously Living Traditions Homestead, uh, which we'll get to in just a second. Um, popular uploads are there as well. A couple of shorts. Now that's the main page. Now if you go to videos, you'll literally see from newest to oldest all the way down. Okay. Playlists. So if you're looking for something specific, here's a tip that I learned not too long ago. So you can hit this little arrow button. It'll show you all the playlists I have. But if you hit show all, so you can watch videos about the pig's life, or you can watch how to build, or homesteading, or just for fun, or all about the rabbits, quail for profit, reviews on quail products such as incubators and brooders, cages, and so forth, quail for profit, um, barn tours, farm animals at My Shire Farm, live Q&As, jumbo breeding program, day in the life, all about the colors, frequently asked questions, and so many more. So... You know, if you're looking for specific 
topic, this would be the way to go. Now, community, it's not going to show on here, but that's if I post anything on YouTube. Uh, for example, I had to uh, cancel my live last week on Saturday or on Sunday. Uh, so there was a post there and that's where community would show. Store is just store merchandise that you could purchase from us uh, if you were interested in doing that. Uh, channels, would be other channels that I recommend watching, so you could see those. And then you could go to About. Now, the big thing that I wanna show you about is you could go to the website from here. There's a link. The Amazon store has a link. The Facebook page has a link. Uh, and then the MyShire Gear, which is actually the store. Um, and then uh, it'll show you a little bit about us and things like that. But if you wanted to, again, uh, let's just say that you don't like my videos, but you want to learn about Caternix quail. Well, you could go to channels, and let's just uh, go to Living Traditions Homestead. If you go to their playlist, you can go to Raising Caternix Quail, and you can see all the videos that they've done about Caternix quail. And now, obviously, Slightly Redneck, Whiskey Tango Farms, and others have also done channels that you can check out. Uh, the only thing I recommend is make sure that you're getting the good good quality information, which obviously these three obviously do extremely, extremely well. So those are the two ways you can look stuff up on YouTube. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Facebook. So... The first um, Facebook group I highly recommend is Newbie Quail Lovers. Can't spell. Still couldn't spell, but it showed up anyway. Thank you, Facebook. So you can click on this group. I highly recommend you join. Uh, it's got about five and a half thousand members. And uh, if you click on, um, I believe here, if you click on the people, it'll show you the admins and moderators. So we've got Whiskey Tango Farms, we've got Verna Young, you've got Katrina Krakow, you've got Bill DeGraffenfried, uh, you've got myself, and then you've got my farm page, which is My Shire Farm Quality Quail. Um, and then you also have experts here, which is Jasmine Bass, my wife Jenna, which created My Shire Farm, and things like that. And you can go to each of the groups that I'm going to show you and, uh, and check that out. But this is a great group you can check out um, and, uh, and ask questions on there. People will be happy to help. But on any of these groups that I'm going to show you, you can always go to uh, where the people icon is and you can see who either the group experts are or the admins and moderators are and message them and they will be happy to help you on your journey with Caternix Quail. So that is the first group I recommend. The second is Quail Call. Now, Quail Call is a group that we started, and it's for quail lovers past the newbie stage. Again, you can post in here. They do a lot of fun topics, uh, but if you click on the people again, you'll see that uh, Steve-O Swanson, uh, PJ Walker are both uh, admins on here, Charlotte's Crazy Critters Homestead, um, and... Uh, and all the members, but you can see the admins on here and, and contact them individually if you need to, but they post a lot of great information on here, uh, and a lot of people um, get a lot of great information from this site. So the next one we're going to check out is, oops, Quail for Profit. Now the reason I recommend this group is because it is only for people that are going to try to make a profit on Caternix Quail. Again, you can post your questions anytime you want, um, and people will be happy to help you out. But you can also go here and see that Whiskey Tango Farms, uh, Bill, Kristen, Brandon, and myself are the a uh, admins and moderators on this site. Um, and you can reach out to us individually. Uh, but as you can see, it is very active, and a lot of people have some great questions and, uh, and comments. And, uh, and you can check that out. <clears throat> the next one we're going to show you, and we're almost done, is quail in the kitchen. This is for recipes only. Uh, it's quail in the kitchen. Verna, myself, and Brooke 
are the admins and moderators on this group. As you can see, a lot of our friends on here are admins from other groups as well. Um, but uh, this is finding all kinds of recipes for your Caternix quail and uh, how other people are doing things, whether they're pickling quail eggs or making all kinds of delicious uh, Spanish dishes or smoked hard boiled eggs or whatever the case may be. Now the last one I'm going to show you is one of my favorites and that is self-sufficient quail right here. The self-sufficient quail. Now the admin in this group is Jasmine Bass and myself. Uh, we're probably going to have to add another one shortly as we are growing. We've already got over uh, 1.5 thousand members. We just started about a month ago. Um, so it's growing exponentially. She has a lot of great things that she's doing on here. She's doing a topic of the week such as the other groups are doing that as well, I should have mentioned. Um, but she does a topic of the week, and it's not just about Caternix Quail. It's about all of us coming together and becoming more self-sufficient. And we really believe that there is no better way to become more self-sufficient than Caternix Quail. I hope that that helped. Again, I am very basic when it comes to technology. I hope you know that. Uh, but those were a couple of groups that you can definitely check out that I think would help you with your research and understanding more about Caternix Quail. Um, a couple of experts that I have mentioned uh, that I think will guide you in the right direction. And uh, they're very honest, they're very moral, and, uh, and they really have a desire to help everybody on their journey with Caternix Quail and more. Um, so I hope that that helped. If you have any questions, comment below. And uh, if you have any other ideas, comment below. We'd be happy to hear and try to direct people in that way as well. So good luck, stay safe, and we will see you Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm.